Hello, this is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. Welcome back to my channel. Que lo que, bienvenidos to all the newcomers. I really want to welcome you here. Uh, this is where we come to relax, have fun, enjoy what we all like to enjoy, which is The Sims. And today I am presenting some amazing builds that. I cannot say that I did these myself. Nope, cannot. These were people that uh, took the challenge um, of redoing a bill that I did uh, a while back. And I did promise them that we would do a tour of their builds. And I have been uh, procrast not procrastinating all week. I knew this was going to be a task. So instead of me prolonging this video any longer than it should. Let's get into these houses. So I'm gonna start off with the first build on the list and I did, okay, I did click uh, custom content just in case, because I know some people were saying that their bills were coming up custom content even though they did not include any. Okay, so, um, okay, it looks like Hope's bill is on here twice. So we'll just, we're just gonna grab this one because it looks like it's the same. Um, and this again is a bill by Hope Ellen. Um, this looks actually really cute. It looks way different from um, the original build. Uh, I like it. I like it. Let's see. All right, this may take a minute to actually um, load. So we're just going to cut the screen and head to the next frame. All right, this is Hope's Bill. Let me pull it up like this. I guess I should have like created a sim just to throw in here to get a good look, but we're just gonna do it like this for now, I guess. Uh, so let me go into the Sims cam and um, yeah, we're gonna head in. This is actually really cute. I like it. It definitely is different from what I had, but it gives it a, a honestly, this has a more suburban feel to it which I dig. All right, so we're gonna head downstairs first. Um, I'm gonna take the grid off. Let's go downstairs into the living area. Um, let me put the walls up. Are the walls all the way up? Yes, okay. All right, you guys have excused the plane in the background. I do live by an airport, so. I really like this. Look at the kitchen. I love the color. So we'll go in the kitchen first. Okay, this sim has a pet. I like the color scheme. I love it. I love blue. I really do. And if I could just navigate correctly, this would be amazing. Um, yeah, I really do like it. Oh, she's got a little office here with the music room. Very cute. Okay, we've got a camera and easel so this sim is creative you know, the sim that lives here is creative cute little living space fireplace tv very cozy it's a little mo a lot more inviting than the one that i originally had um very cozy there's two fireplaces in here <laughs> ah the navigation is professional y'all this is a professional channel um I love the laundry area. This is actually really convenient. The laundry is right on the first floor. And it's, oh, I like it though. It's cute. It's definitely cute. I love it. And we're gonna, ah, oh, look at me. Look at me. Oh, I didn't even see this the first time. The menu on the board just tells you, I guess, what's for dinner tonight. All right, so the alcove was kept the same. But before we do that, we're gonna go out here in the backyard. I just wanna see what we did in the backyard. Okay, so we've got, oh, I like this. It's got um, like a little, um, well, gazebo. <laughs> yes, that's the word I'm looking for. And we still got the pool. I love the pool. I like how it goes around the corner. Um, and sh look at this, we got two diving boards. Okay, these people have some money. Um, and we have the bar here and the grill, okay. And we still have um, the upstairs, so we're gonna go 
Let's see if we can go through here. Oh, this is so cute. This is a little nook for the kids. I could probably put a little door here uh, for the kids to get out, but that's that's actually really cute. All right, so we're gonna go through. Can we can we do that without bouncing around? No. Okay. No, we can't. All right. So oh, okay. Here's the kids' room. Very cute. The you know what? This is like a typical teenage kids' room, kind of messy, but I love the detail. Um, I love the things on the shelf. The shelves, the lighting. This is really cute. And then we have their bathroom. I assume this is their bathroom. Yeah. This could be their bathroom or even a guest bathroom. She did a better job than I did <laughs> decorating the bathroom because I'm pretty sure I, if I remember correctly, all I had was this. <laughs> Just a sink. I'm pretty sure I didn't put anything in it at all. All right, so we're gonna head down the hallway. And she did keep this open space here and into the, the master bath, master bedroom. Um, and it looks like the I, dog, is it a dog? We're gonna have a dog here. Ha, uh, sleeps with, um, sleeps in the master bedroom. And there's a fireplace, bedroom, and the bathroom. I love it. And of course we have the little balcony here. I love it. It's cute. I love it. Good job, Hope. All right. So, yes. All right. So let's go to the next building. And this one is by o Okester 3R underscore 13. I hope I said that right. So we're going to um, add you to the lot. This looks amazing. I absolutely love this looks like um, almost like a mission style home this fits very well um, in the uh, the surrounding area I would have never thought to put this up here that is a great way to fix this roof that looks really good you did a really good do job with the roof all right so oh this was a good idea too I'm taking notes from y'all. Y'all are, y'all are, y'all are good. I'm taking some notes. Really am. I, I would have never thought to put these here. This makes it look so more fancy, so much more fancy, so much more fancy, so much fancier. Let's, let's use that English, uh, <laughs> let's use that English degree <laughs> properly. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, let's bring up the, uh, I like it. I really like it. Wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. What? What is this? Oh. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. They re really reconfigured this. Okay. Let's just take it in one at its one one area at a time. So we've got the kitchen here. Wow. This is the big kitchen. Okay. I really like this. They've got like. A little bar area here I like the use of the bar area this person is a, a, a builder after my own heart they use little things like this I love this um, this is really cute I would have never thought to put the counters like this see this is what I'm talking about you guys are freaking talented I like this got the ice cream machine over here and Okay, okay. Now this is a chef's kitchen. You know what? I never thought to even use that in a kitchen, and I mean outside of the restaurant. Wow. Okay. Why didn't I even think about that? Where are these shelves from? I've never seen these shelves. Where are these from? I swear. I swear. I've never seen these shelves. That is cool. They're obviously in the game because they're here, but I've never seen these shelves before. <laughs> okay, I and okay over here into the living area. I really like this dining room, this dining room set. This fits so well into the um this um this uh yeah into this floor plan <laughs> into the theme here and. Um, it, yeah, I, I think it looks great. 
still keeping the open space the the texas feel wait a minute what what is this is this the floor divider oh my gosh wow come on you guys Don't, you can't be you can't be that much better than me <laughs> it's not fair it's not fair i love this why didn't i think about putting the fireplace there i put a fish tank there this is so good okay i'm ready to go into this alcove this is so good okay let's we're gonna go downstairs we're gonna go downstairs first so okay this is a game room with some weights uh, a workout room game room laundry okay this is a freaking cool what is in here do we have a is there a spa a sauna in here okay well you know i would assume anybody that lives in this in the oasis springs the oasis springs gives me a scottsdale feel even though i've never been to scottsdale but i would assume that scottsdale would look like this so i could see the person living uh, in oasis springs having a little more money um and are being a little more well off and yeah i could see a definite like a game room in the basement and of course a sauna so we're gonna hop them back up the steps uh and we're gonna go all the way up the stairs and you know in pixie fashion we're going through the window and the walls <laughs> so all right um okay so we've got is this the okay brandy let's just let's do this let's just make it simple for yourself okay so this is the master bedroom oh i you know what i've never used this wallpaper i like it i've never used this wallpaper i thought it was ugly but this looks really good with it wow okay okay i like it and then the bathroom. I really love the bathroom. I love this tub. Yes. Got some luxury uh, closet here. Very nice. Very nice. Oops. All right. So now we're going to go into the guest bathroom. Not the guest, Well, the main bathroom, I would say. I really, really like this. Let me bring up the walls. I really, really like this. This looks really good. I love the tile. I, lo oh, I love this is one of my favorite showers in the game. This looks so good. All right, through the door into the other be bedroom. Really pretty. I love this wallpaper with the browns. It really does give me the the sun. This is like perfect. Look at the, okay, first of all, the view, right? You're looking at the view and the wallpaper. It's like bringing the sunset inside the home. This is so good. It is so good. Oh, this is obviously the uh, kids room, teen room. Very, very nice. I love this build. All right, let's head to the backyard. How do we get out there? Do we go through here? Yes, we go through the door. And the pool looks really good. I see the continuation. Oh, look. Oh, that's convenient. That's actually really convenient. Because I'm going to be honest with you, this is one reason why I don't have a clothesline. Because I don't wouldn't want, wouldn't want to walk too far. Oh, my God, that's so, so lazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I really do love the continuation of these um, these fountains. I love this pool. Oh, it looks so inviting. And the massage chairs. This is really an oasis. Um, in Oasis Springs. And we've got our hot tub. Oh, this is so pretty. Really, really pretty. Really good job. I love this. All right, so on to the next house it is the next day guys i'm so sorry i got a little sidetracked yesterday um as people with add do so um i ended up creating a sim self for um a good friend of mine keo sims go check her channel out i love her lp she's new just like me on youtube and um 
I love her gameplay. She's very genuine when she plays. I think you guys would enjoy her. But um, her information will be in the iCard, so you guys can check her channel out. Anyway, so we are back. <laughs> and uh, this is another beautiful build. This is by Helgren. I want to make sure. Lot of Helgren. Lot of Helgren. Okay, so um, I decided to add my sim self so to make it a little bit easier to kind of tour these houses. Let me just quit going back and forth like this. Um, so we're just gonna move on through. Um, page two. Let's just go in the door. It's not gonna work like that, is it? It's not. It's not. It's not gonna work. Okay. Um, wow. First of all, this is gorgeous. This is really gorgeous. I'm gonna put the walls up all the way. Wow, I really like this. I'm in awe. I really do like this. I love your builds. I just wanna say that. <gasps> Wait, okay. So let's just look at this first before I get <laughs> too excited. Um, the living room is really cool. I love how the uh, Helgren, or Hel I'm just gonna call you Helgren. I'm just gonna forget your name and I don't mean that in a bad way but I'm just gonna call you Helgren for now but um, I will make sure to add your name so people will know who you are but I really I really really love this this is so cool this has to be a bathroom here what is behind this door it is okay let's look at the bathroom let's take a look at the bathroom okay you know what I'm, I'm gonna work I'm gonna work on my <laughs> my navigation skills I promise this is cool you know what maybe we should switch to the sims 3 cam okay here we go this is really cool okay see I love this idea this has a spa feel to it with you know the item from items from spa day obviously has a spa feel to it with those items but just the fact that you put this here i would have never thought about adding this to my bathroom but i'm gonna have to steal that idea too yes i love it i love this bathroom i love the blue and the browns very cool love it oh love the artwork nice touch makes it very personal this table in the corner is, I like this table. I really haven't found a use for this table yet. Um, I think I did make one build like back in the day, like I made a kitchen build and I used this table, but I hadn't used it since. Um, I really do, is this somebody's urn? Okay, uh, I was like, about to freak out for a minute. Um, my family is so superstitious, I'll tell you. They are super superstitious. All right, so let's just check out this area here. This is cool. This is really cool. This is a wine cellar with a little um, juices and berries collection. <laughs> you know that's not juices and berries. I love this. This is feels so lived in and personal. And okay, the door comes out here to the fountain area. Oh, I, I love this little nook. This is so cozy. The broom, it's like a broom closet with like seeds. This is cool. I would have never thought to, come on y'all. Why are y'all this talented? This is so cool. Okay, let's let's check out, let's check the cereal first. ADD guys, I'm sorry. I get so sidetracked so quickly. I love this dining area. Very cozy, very inviting. This is like right up my alley. I would love this. I will say this though. I've sat in chairs like this in real life. These chairs are not made for people with um, booties. Just not. Because they just, well, even thighs. Thighs and butt. You can't sit in these chairs because these, this, these little parts that I'm highlighting, you probably can't see my cursor, they dig into your thighs. So these are made for people that are like statuesque. <laughs> All right, so the kitchen. Oh gosh, I love this kitchen. I do, I really do. I love everybody's kitchen, but I do love this kitchen. I love the stone 
Um, and you guys, if you've seen any of my builds or my decorating, because I really don't haven't built anything on this channel yet, but I have like done some decorating um, and things like that, you will notice that I use a lot of stone and brick in my builds because to me that feels cozy. Um, and I love color. Um, and I feel like stone, brick, or color just makes a house feel more inviting. And I love this. This kitchen feels inviting. It feels lived in. It feels like this family congregates a lot here. I love the um, the Mexican, I forget what these are called. Forgive me. Oh, the cell phone. Look at this. this, this cell, is this a cell phone? This is like an old school 90s cell phone. I don't know what that is. Is that a phone, like a regular house phone? I love the letter, the mail. Where is this from? I need I need to know where this letter is from because I actually need to use something like that in my Let's Play. So let me know in the comments where you got this letter from, Helgen. Um, I'm pretty sure this is probably debug, but uh, still. Love the rose. This is such a cool, like, kitchen. It's so homey. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so let's go through. Let's just look at this real quick. Very good idea. I love how you shrunk down the plants. I never use this plant, um, but I will be using it now because I, I keep forgetting that I can shrink plants down. I'm definitely gonna use that plant more often. Oh, I love how what you did with this alcove. Y'all, my, my navigating skills. No, mm -mm. it's a no. Um, I love this alcove. This is very um, realistic, I would say. Because, yeah, I can see you coming out here. Um, you know, it's hot enough out. It's hot out. It's warm outside, but it's too warm to hang out. So this little alcove is probably still cool enough because of the stone um, that you can still get a nice little, you can still be outside, but, you know, still be cool enough to enjoy a game of chess which I like. I'm just going to go straight to the backyard because, you know. <laughs> Y'all, don't, don't at me in the comments. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. This is a good idea. I really like this. This is so cool. First of all, you can't be better at making patios than me. This is so cool. I love this. Yeah, this is this is all me right here. I'm telling you guys, I love sitting on comfortable patios, with good breeze, and some nice sweet tea. Oh, I spent a lot of time in the South, just so you know. This is really good. Your landscaping is wow, just perfect i love the pool it's like not too much perfect it fits in this backyard really well i love how you surrounded it by bushes and trees it looks very very natural it just fits in the space um yeah this looks so good i love it absolutely love it the roofing on this is amazing Okay, so we're gonna head into the upstairs. Um, this bedroom. Let's let's discuss. Let's let's discuss this bedroom. I love how you brought the stone upstairs. Oh, this! I love it. I love everything. <laughs> Y'all are like, you love everything. What is it that you don't like? I I love the creativity. I love how you guys think um i i think i'm subconsciously just wanted to put out a not just a giveaway so you guys can get um something that you necessarily don't have or even for the views i just like looking at people's builds and i love to see how people use items in the game to create their own space i mean Every, we all have access to the same items, we have, you know, depending obviously on what game uh, packages or you have and don't have or whatever. But the fact that everyone comes up with something different um, 
amazes me. I know that's crazy. That's like, okay, whatever. But that to me is just, it's cool. Okay, wait, I'm down here anyways, but I just wanna look at this front porch real quick. I love it. All right, let's go back upstairs. Um, so let's look at the bathroom. Okay, we've got the blue tile in here. Yes, keep the uniformity. Love it, love it. I wouldn't mind cleaning this bathroom. You ever went into a bathroom and looked at it and be like, no, I wouldn't want to clean the bathroom. But this bathroom makes me want to clean it. I know that sounds weird. I do a lot of cleaning the bathrooms in the South, but this bathroom, I could clean. I, I wouldn't mind cleaning. I would not mind. I wouldn't mind, I, I wouldn't mind taking a bath here either. I actually like how you did this with the tub. This actually looks like a shower. Again, if we could just build our own showers in this game, amazing. Okay, so into the hallway. I like how you actually built the wall here. I do. I like you close that off. And okay, we just popped in. The, okay, we popped into the back. Okay, I like it. I like it. Oh, this is so cute. The wash tub. Um, side note, my great great grandmother, I, I knew her um, before she died. I, um, I was lucky enough to meet my great, one of my great great, both actually of my great great grandmas. And they both had these. Um, yeah. And still churn their own butter and things like that. So that was cool. I got to see that. Um, my family is very old fashioned in that, in that sense, but, um, I, I love the touch here. I, I love your colors too. I really love the turquoise, the blues, the browns, the black. I love how you, um, mixed the blacks and the whites together. Um, I, I, I'm in love with this house. Like I really am. I wouldn't change a thing. Um, <clears throat> what's in the store here? What's, what's this? Oh, so you made this an ensuite. Good idea. Did I hit, I, did I even? No, I didn't. I don't think it did. Nice use of the new stuff. I love this uh, laptop. Doesn't look as bulky as the other one. Yes, I rarely use this closet. This looks good though, the way it, you have it. I like how you did the shelving on the window. That's one of the things I do. I always, if you guys noticed, and in any of my builds, I shouldn't say always, but I do tend to add musical instruments in my builds only because music is a big part of my life. Um, I love music. My biological father was a musician or is a musician or my biological grandfather is or was a musician. I don't know if he's still alive, um, but that's another story for another day. Um, so yeah, I love this very cool very very cool so out the door do we have anything else we have the stairs going down here do we have a basement at all no but excellent job excellent job excellent job oh wait we missed the patio well, where is this this is from the bathroom yeah i like it i do i do like it it's cute this is cute. This is really good. This is dark, you guys. I'm sorry. The lighting is bad when it's dark. But I actually kind of like it like that. This looks so good. All right. So let's uh, let's hit the uh, next build up, shall we? This build is by B. Brimage. I want to make sure I'm saying that correctly. Let's just take a gander on the outside of this. This is a total different style i want to say that this roofing is i love the shape of this house just hands down i'm i said i was in love i'm still in love this right here with the tiles uh, i am thoroughly impressed okay i'm ready to get into this house first let's just let's just look, take a look at the backyard first an oasis I, I okay once again I would have never thought 
to use this, um, I don't know what this is. I, it's not a gazebo, but I guess it's a, I don't know, like the technical term for it, but we're gonna call it, a, call it a gazebo. But this obviously is a gazebo, but the glass covering on top with the, the massage tables. Yes. I love how you use the benches with these chairs. We do need lounge chairs in the game. I don't know why we don't have them. I don't know why they didn't come with perfect patio. Um, obviously perfect patio wasn't perfect, <laughs> but I love, this is some, this is a very ritzy build. Uh, this is someone that would definitely have a house in Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, I would spend a lot of time out here. Definitely. Um, the pool just looks so inviting. Um, not today though in my area because it is raining outside and gloomy. So let's head on in. Oh, wait a minute. I love your, um, use of the fountains here. Yes, it does ritz it up even more. So let's go in. I like the door. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad you used the door. <laughs> oh my gosh. So let's head in this little alcove. Take a look. I love how you uh, made this kind of a seating area. Very nice. Very, very nice. Got some artwork over here. Filling the mountain artwork. Beautiful. I'm loving the color scheme. I love blues, you guys. Blue um, is one of my favorite colors. I just like color, period. Blue is definitely um, one of my favorite colors. Very pretty. I would have never thought to mix this together like this, the blue and the white table. Sorry about that. That is the garage door opening and closing. Uh, I will be right back. And we're back once again. I apologize for the interruption. Uh, but uh, yeah, where do we start off? We left off here with the beautiful dining area. Um, again, I love the mixture of blues and white. Um, and then this kitchen, gorgeous kitchen and the copper. I don't know about you guys, but I personally love copper. Um, like copper sinks and copper fixtures. Um, I myself really want to have a set of copper pans and utensils. I, I love to cook and my kitchen is something I love to be in, um, especially when I can put my personal touches. But um, definitely if I can mix um, a farmhouse look with some copper, yes, absolutely. Um, very, very pretty very pretty and let's just take a look at this beautiful artwork on the where is this from what is this is this like i'm curious i'm going into bill bill re really quick and i just want to see what this is oh wait a minute i'm i'm sorry just a side note what what is that why haven't i seen this before <laughs> i have scrolled past that numerous times never seen it and i would have never thought to add this as a like a, a feature very cool wait a minute i love the lighting back here behind the shelves this has a modern slightly modern feel to it and you continue with the lighting on the walls um i'm stunned Absolutely. Um, now let's go over into the living area. Um, this one, it feels... <sighs> okay. I noticed that they put the stairs up right here and it works very well. Um, it still feels open because it is an open floor plan, but the stairs actually work really well here. I don't even know why I didn't think about that because I'm a genius but um, this looks really, really good. And I love these paintings on the wall. These are gorgeous. This artwork is beautiful. It fits so well in this, um, this build. Very, very pretty. Um, <clears throat> this living room is gorgeous. The 
the rug, beautiful, the little office area, the horse. I love it. I love it. This is so beautiful. So gorgeous. Is this is this a store go anywhere? Or is this like the squall site? Oh, it's a bathroom. Um, yes. Yes, please. Let's go in. Through the walls. <laughs> uh I love it. I love the blue. I'm so in love with blue. You guys, I, I just got a set of blue bowls the other day. I was so excited to order them off of Amazon. It's like a, it's like a, like a, um, they're not like all blue. They kind of, it's almost like a, um, I didn't want to say it. What is the word? A gradient. Like from, it goes from white to a pale blue to eggshell blue and, and, and down to like a, um, like this blue here on the wall like i wouldn't say yeah like a navy blue almost a royal blue i love those bowls um i got them from amazon i order from amazon at least once a week i know ups probably hates me uh ups usps fedex they probably all hate me because we have a delivery every every week at least twice a week <laughs> either it's for my hair or it's for the kitchen <laughs> okay um let me stop because i'm all over the place um all right so we've got oh they switched the floor plan completely up well obviously this is so good wow okay so we're upstairs we're gonna go to the right which is my right which would might be your right depending on i guess well, I guess it would be right. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> so we've got a bedroom here. Looks like a um, teenage girl's bedroom. She's got a little workspace. Some perfume. Yes. Some artwork on the wall. Oops. Um, makeup. I love this artwork on the floor. I'm so glad Maxis did this because I'm always leaning artwork up on the wall, any, against the wall anyways, because it just feels realistic. If you lived in my house growing up, my mom bought a lot of pictures just from random places, you know, or if she was out and she saw some artwork, she always bought it, but it never got hung up. So we would have artwork leaning up against the wall. That's just, it became part of the decor. It's just like, okay, well, that works. Um, so th that's why I do that because it, it was a thing in my house. Um, I love it. I love this candle. I think it's so dope. And okay, this does that. I guess that goes to say what about this build. This build is absolutely dope. All right, so we are in the hallway, <laughs> back into the bedroom. Brandy, child, we're gonna have to work on that. Okay, let's head over to. I guess this is the master suite. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's so bright and and sunny and inviting. I just want to, yeah, pan out. I love this photo. Horses are some of the most gorgeous animals, and this this suits this bedroom very very well. Um, this is like, um, this bedroom feels like their, their serenity. Like they would come in here and, um, this is how they get away from the stresses of work and the world in general. Um, you know, they've got their couch where they probably sit and read or watch TV or enjoy, um, the company of their spouse, uh, and this bathroom is fit for a king and a queen. Oh, beautiful. Gorgeous, I love the artwork. I could live here. I can just look out the window, take it a bath. Yep, perfect. Gorgeous, okay, heading out the door. Do, do we go, we went here, didn't we? Yeah, back on out to the next door. This is another bathroom. Very cute. Oh, I love it. Let's see, is it, it's pretty, is it, okay, yeah. The shower, bathtub. I love this shower. Um, 
this is actually I think I use this shower quite a bit in my builds um, I love how you kept the blues kept going with the blue and it doesn't look overdone it just it's perfect it's a perfect amount of blue okay so what is in this room oh this is a this is another room it's a smaller kids room this is probably about the size of my room when I was growing up yep I always had the small room because I was the smallest kid I love it this kid obviously is an art creative kid with um, the easel being here they have a great view so which would be honestly ideal for someone who likes to paint and they have access to the balcony where there's yoga and lemonade a builder after my own heart is there did I did I get everything did I did I did I did I did I think I did let's take a look uh, see I got that oh we got a closet girl I missed the closet this is so cool. Let me squeeze in. Uh-uh. It's not working. <laughs> it's not working for me. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Is that is that is that a oh this is a workout room? I see. Oh, look. I hit play. Didn't even realize. I like it. Okay. See, you can do things with small spaces. I would have never thought to squeeze that in, but I like it. It it works. Very cool build. All right. And I love this um this tower here. It looks like almost like a lighthouse and I see how you incorporated the idea of putting the big chandelier lighting, but um made it more visible this is gorgeous absolutely okay so let us go to the next build this build is by Katya number one I love the colors uh, from the outside I do like the the creamy um, I guess stucco very pretty and I love how you Looking from the outside in, I like how you use the curtains in the windows because it does give it a little more privacy because obviously if you have open windows like this, you would have um, curtains because you don't want people checking you out. Um, so let us, let's head to the backyard as per usual. Um, I, you know what, I'm going into build mode because this is, it's dark um, in game and I want to see this in the morning oh check this out Just look at the lighting oh that looks so good okay so you've got a gorgeous backyard i like the bar area with the grill got some cooking utensils out here so obviously this family does a lot of outdoor entertainment um i don't know about your family but my dad was king of the barbecue in our um, in our house well my mom could throw down on the grill too uh, but that was certainly my dad's spot so my dad would have loved this would still love this area I love how you added music because in my family when we barbecue we always have the music going let me tell you um, I love the pool gorgeous and the walls around the pool very cool all right so let's head in Side, so we can go back out of build mode. Just, you know, just go inside. All right. So let's check out the living room first. I like it. I love this fireplace. This is like perfect for this little um, alcove. And then the bookshelves. I'm so glad that Max has added taller bookshelves, taller and wider bookshelves. Um, because when you want something a setup like this where you have columns those narrow and short bookshelves just didn't look right so i always ended up uh, either creating my own or like stacking them um and i i don't necessarily like the clipping but um i'll do what i can to make a build work and so these are perfect for this area i do um again love the browns 
and how you kept it the Texas style um, Spanish Texan um, all right so oh where is this table from I'm sure this table is from um, let me see well I'll find out this is really cool I love this table very very pretty um, and of course a little seating area by the window I, I know this this house gets a good breeze in the at night I'm sure in a place like Arizona it would be hot as heck during the day but at night with the windows open like this there's an amazing breeze um, probably a lot of scorpions get in this house because it's open like it is um, the kitchen is beautiful I love it again the copper um, is stunning very very nice very very nice so I've got the alcove here so let's head on upstairs and let me check the floor plan here so I can get an idea okay so we're gonna go into the master bedroom we're gonna try to get into the master bedroom oh goodness girl okay so we've got um, the dresser here nice use of the divider I guess this would be where you would like get undressed if you are kind of a shy sim um, which I would be kind of shy at first but then once I warm up to people I'm I'm you won't can't even shut up like I'm mumbling and like I'm rambling mumbling rambling right now um I do like the little office space here with a great view I could write here really I really could and I can see why you have this here because this is like perfect I would sit here and write or get distracted probably both um so we have through this door what a bathroom okay I love the use of the shower and the tub this is like one of my favorite tubs um, I don't use it a lot, but I love the black and copper. I wish we had more black and copper. I do, you know, I really do. I wish we had, um, black and copper sinks. Like, I think we have, I think we do, but, um, it, the black isn't black enough. Um, uh, it tends to look more off black. It doesn't do it for me, but, um, I do wish we had more, um, black and gold fixtures black and gold appliances and things like that um you know sometimes i just want a, a more modern looking build like that and so uh and those colors seem to fit so I, I really like your bathroom i think it's very inviting definitely a place that i would just come in and relax take a bubble bath listen to some music read a book i used to do that a lot read books while i was in the tub um yes okay so back upstairs why did we go downstairs all right so again with the guitar builders after my own heart definitely all right so another bathroom here. oh okay so we've got a little walkway here to our right we have oh fancy very fancy very nice touch yes i love it Although, um, I don't necessarily want to watch myself be. <laughs> I think it's beautiful though. <laughs> Me personally. <laughs> oh goodness. It's like a Calgon take me. Okay. I'm aging myself. This is gorgeous. Okay. Let's, let's work on that. Um, work on the, the, uh, navigation B. Okay. So I do like this. This is a clean sink, guys. Clean sink. No, but this is really cool. And I wish that we were able to um, have sinks like this where we have the sink in the middle with uh, the shelf and we can put things on the shelf and have the um, drawers on the side. I mean, it just feels more realistic that way. Um, I, don't, I wish we could use the drawers in the game. Like, the Sims would actually open the drawers and look for things. Um, especially if they're um stealing you know those you know those sims that have this the thief trait is that what it is whatever um 
it makes sense that they would go in your bathroom. Well, any anybody that, um, if you're using a stranger's bathroom or not a stranger's bathroom, but your friend's bathroom, how many of us are nosy? I'm nosy. I would be going through the drawers. Not gonna lie. If I really, if I felt comfortable enough with you, or we're we're good friends, I'm gonna go through your stuff. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go through your things. Anyway, so, um, okay, so we are in the, another bedroom. Yes, 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 is this another bedroom? Girl, what is, y'all, yeah. okay, we're just gonna do this. <laughs> All right, so we're in another bedroom, and I like it, it's simple, but, I mean, honestly, bedrooms don't necessarily have to be cluttered I think cluttered bedrooms I don't feel as comfortable I think your bedroom should be your your getaway and you know um this is like perfect you know it's not too much it's just enough you've got candles flowers artwork you've got your beautiful bed um it's and you've got a great view windows it just wait a minute what is this okay this is the other window okay I, I don't know I like it it's like it's minimalistic but it works it looks really good okay so this is the um, door to the bathroom okay so we checked on the outside really good job I love this build all oh, the turtles I don't remember if turtles were in the original build but I like it I do great touch um, the the little alcove here great touch with the table and the artwork um, the theme I guess is it's definitely a Spanish theme with um, the colors um, if you've ever been in like Spanish homes they do uh, have bright colors on the walls um, especially like I have I grew up around a lot of uh, Mexican families because that's um, in my area there are a lot of uh, Latinos um, especially like uh, Mexicans and Puerto Ricans there's a lot of bright colors I think that's probably why I enjoy bright colors and things like that because of just that influence um, and yeah very very pretty very pretty okay on to the next build okay this build is by Shan Shanrick Sh Shanrick Sh I'm so sorry if I completely like screw up all your names. I am terrible when it comes to names, but this build is gorgeous. Um, yes, I love the um, the plants in the front. Very, very gorgeous. Very pretty, very pretty. Okay, so where are we gonna start? Back in the backyard and once again in build mode because I have to be able to see and I am nearsighted enough as it is um, so yes all right let's check the um, bar area out it feels like a tiki hut almost but not <laughs> okay I really really like this idea with the fireplace outside this fireplace is actually perfect for outdoors um this almost feels like a smoker uh, my grandfather um built a smoker by hand and um he would smoke meat that that's kind of what you use the smoker for is to smoke meat and things like that and he also had a smokehouse uh where he would um store the smoke meat or cure meat in there and things like that probably more information than I needed to give you but um, this kind of reminds me of that on um, in our his backyard with the smoker and, and he'd go I mean granted this is more or less for just hanging out uh, in the cool nights and um, maybe roasting some marshmallows or things like that uh, sipping on your juices and berries because <laughs> um, you have a juices and berry bar here <laughs> so um, I don't know why I laugh at myself all the time y'all have to excuse me but my jokes are stupid but I laugh at them I think I'm funny <laughs> so um, I really do like that touch it is a very 
very inviting and um, suitable for this build. Like it, I would I would think yes, this would fit perfectly um, in Oasis Spring. And I Oasis Spring and what's the other place? Um, the other the new area that came with Get Famous. I can't remember. But no, not it wasn't. It was Strangerville. Is the Strangerville the other desert area? Yeah. So like this is very suitable for those areas with the um, Adobe type um, brick stoves um, or ovens or fireplaces. Uh, they just seem to belong outside. Even yes, they belong inside. And when I think of, um, I'm going on a whole tangent. Let me let me just get into the bills. This, is, this video is going to be long enough as it is without me continuing to run my mouth unnecessarily. But I am so good at doing that. I am. Okay, so uh, let me turn the grid off. All right, so we can get a full view of this living area. I love how you guys have um, created these homes for uh, families because it they're all they all look like families live here not just a bachelor or a bachelorette this these are homes that are either ready for a family to move in or someone who is single with the thought of having a family um, the living room is it looks like this is where everyone would gather at in the evening and watch TV you know and it's cozy and then we've got a dartboard over here so yeah this is like where all the family hangs out in their free time but uh, besides outside being in the pool but you know if this was and look look they've got a family because they got pictures or maybe this is like a office outing I always wonder who was in this picture these are obviously sims but I feel like these sims represent um, people from Maxis. Anyway, so um, over here in the other seating area with a, another fireplace, you see they've used some of the items from the um, Chinese New Year. Was it Chinese New Year pack update? Um, again, very cozy. I could see people sitting here while waiting for dinner to, uh, to be done or um, yeah. <laughs> that's all I have that's all I have I, I don't know I like it I do I really do um, it works really well with this um, the kitchen and the dining it's a good flow it really is and with the piano sitting here it's almost another area of entertainment like you can it be great for parties because you're still um, a part of the party in here but you've got a separate room where the music's playing and, you know, maybe you've got family members sitting at the kitchen table playing cards. Uh, that would be something that my family does at the kitchen table playing spades and music is going on. And, oh, we got a little stray thing here. We're going to put you here. I don't know. Um, and my mom or I would be in the kitchen <laughs> cooking. <laughs> um, I do love the kitchen. I love this griddle. I wish I had a stove like this in my house, but I don't. I wish I did. I do. I do a lot of stir fries, and I would stir fry a lot on this. Or even just do... Well, you know what? This would be perfect for to, for to make. This would be perfect to make fajitas on. Okay. Yep. Tangent. ADD for the win. I love the kitchen. Very, very cool. All right, so on to the upstairs. Is there an upstairs? There is an upstairs. Oh, so they closed it off and went this way. Ooh, I like this. I do. Okay, upstairs. Where are we gonna go first? We're gonna go through this. Oh. Yes. I like. I do like the sink. That's how that works. <laughs> That's how that sink works, huh? That looks so much better than what I have, been, how I've been using it, because I've just been using it as a standalone sink, and it just for some reason didn't, wasn't suitable for anything I made or created or built. And I, I see how 
it's supposed to go and it looks way better um love the bathtub choice um honestly i think this works without a shower it doesn't have one but i like it because oops i like it because um i don't know it just this bathroom works without a shower this is like that bathroom where i'm gonna go take a bath and light some candles nobody come find me for like 40 minutes that's what this bathroom feels like um this is not the bathroom where you just go and take a quick shower so yeah i like it all right so this is probably the other bedroom yes very cool definitely a kids room or even a guest room um i do like it i've never used this wallpaper no have i i don't know still a good view a great view i like how you guys are using the guitars i'm gonna i'm gonna use the guitar as my signature from now on one of my signatures um i love it now i'll be honest i am a very squeamish person creepy crawlies are not my thing and i would be with windows this i would never have a place with windows being wide open like this with plants hanging down because the first thing i would think was what kind of bugs are coming in my window but i do love the view i mean in the sims we really don't have a lot of creepy crawlies uh thank you jesus because <laughs> all right so on to the master suite um ooh, we have our dressing table i would love to have a dressing table my grandmother had one it was massive and i always love sitting at it and playing in her perfumes and makeup and she never said a word she'd let me her jewelry she'd let me she'd let me play um but her she had like this we call it the red room it was my favorite room to, to sleep in because the bed was huge and she had these big plush velvet curtains or um i don't know if they were velvet i think they were velvet and um the furniture was white but her accents were red the bedding was red um which is why we call it the red red room and she had a huge um chest a cedar chest that was white and um in the corner she had the massive when i say massive i mean massive um dressing table but her my grandmother was born in the 1920s so her furniture was given to her when she was 14 because she got married when she was 14 because that's what they did then and um all the furniture then was big like that massive and um she kept it so the furniture is very very old and a lot of us inherited um her furniture um when she when she moved uh, after my grandfather passed and she just recently passed away and so some of that furniture is in storage but um i think one of my cousins ended up um, taking a lot of it herself but yeah okay more information that probably wasn't necessary but um i do love the mission style of this home um and this is yeah it's very mission style the furniture obviously is the mission furniture set and it it um it works perfectly in this room i love the choice of wood and the colors with the the browns and the the, um, the red tones very very pretty which go perfect with the bathroom gorgeous um again this is a i i don't think this um has any showers in it which you know what not everybody likes showers there are people that love to take baths and this feels like like um almost like an old-fashioned mission uh type home with bathtubs and like this feels like this person would um I've, this is like a, a bathroom that i've seen in a um, interior design magazine with the plants and just the bathtub in the middle of uh, the the bathroom and this gorgeous sink here in the corner yeah i love the tile 
really love the Spanish style. Um, I have yet to play with um, the Jungle Pack. <laughs> I know it's not called that, but I've yet to play with it. And but I do like a lot of the items from that pack. Um, I I like to use them in my uh, decorating and very very pretty home. Love it. Yes. Okay. So on to the next build. And to the next build. This one is by Audrey DeClan. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, this is another mission style home. It looks like Spanish style with mission. Um, I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me, guys. Uh, <laughs> once again, I love the roofing on this house. I will say, I think we have three more builds after this. Uh, there is one build um, that she was not able to submit on the gallery. She is a PlayStation 4 player, and so she posted her pictures on Twitter. So we will be viewing that um, that page, uh, her page or her pictures as well. So she was not able to, again, post on the gallery where we could see, because they I guess they have their own separate gallery, which kind of sucks. But um, yeah, anyway, so this was a great idea. For some reason, I cannot get the um, the glass roofing to work for me because it doesn't, mine don't come out like this. I always have that um, like flooring or whatever underneath. So I may have to look at some tutorials on how to get the glass roofing to work. Um, but oh gosh, I say roofing. I just realized. Do I say roofing or roofing? I think I say roofing. That is a, if that ain't a Midwestern thing, I don't know what it is. Um, do you guys say roof or roof? <laughs> um, all right, so this is really cool. Um, I think this is actually ideal, ideal when you have a hot tub because you can still do this, still sit in the hot tub when it's raining. You've got a, a, a roof. <laughs> over uh, now I'm really self-conscious about how I say roof um, you have a roof over your head um, and you can still enjoy the outside and sit in the hot tub and chill without getting rain done or even snow done but I mean if it snows I don't does it snow out here I have yet to um, find out I have not played in Oasis Spring when it's the winter time I assume it snows, uh, but I could be wrong. Uh, so yes, uh, so yeah, we're starting out in the back in the backyard, and I like the um, idea of putting the umbrella here because if you're sitting here, um, if you're sitting here at the bar, you would want something covering your head because it, it's. I'm sure the sun is blazing outside. Uh, a nice use of the new wall plants. Very pretty. Haven't used those yet. It kinda has a mermaid look to it, doesn't it? Like a mermaid tail? No? Just me? Love it! Um, another one of my favorite items being used in the build is this little picnic basket. Moo boo. It's my Yogi Bear impression. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> If y'all stick with me long enough, you'll find out my impressions are terrible. <laughs> but I'm not ashamed. I am so not ashamed. All right, let's keep it moving because this video, again, is going to be super long. And this kitchen, beautiful kitchen. Wait a minute. This refrigerator comes with art? Seriously? Oh, what? Are you serious? You did this? If that isn't the coolest idea, first of all, why don't we have refrigerators? Why can't they put re artwork? Can they put artwork in the refrigerator? I don't know. I think that's the, the coolest idea. I love it. Absolutely love it. I love the open shelves. Um, that is something that I would love to have in my kitchen. Our open shelves so I can put um, cups and things like that. I have a ton of mugs. Um, just nerdy mugs and just teacups and things like that because I drink hot tea. I love tea in general, but I do love my 
coffee and my hot tea and I would love to have a little space like this um, so this is a really nice touch uh, that shelf again pops up that I have never seen in the game never even used um, coffee simmer after my own heart um, this is my favorite stove so far in the game um, and the refrigerator it this refrigerator reminds me of smeg refrigerators I really would like um, a smeg pack a little mini smeg pack um, or just a smeg edition instead of collaborating with uh, machino or whatever that is could we have collaborated with smeg <laughs> I could care I couldn't care less about machino I can't afford to even say the name machino let alone buy the clothes so um I mean not that I can afford to, to buy smeg but um because smeg is expensive but I do like their appliances um I, I love how they closed this off and made this more of a um, cozy area still with the dining and the bar and seating and um, oh sorry I'm rubbing my eye allergies guys this is the season for allergies and my eyes are stinging um, the mixture of the glass and the wood goes really well with this kitchen area it does it fits perfectly and I, I love how they have the books on the table because it looks like this is where the kids do their homework while hanging out in the kitchen with mom while she cooks or dad while he cooks because uh, I hope you know y'all find a spouse that can cook man or woman uh, because men should know how to cook too I'm just saying I'm just saying is all all right so on to the living area. Oh, I do like this. It's so cozy. Look at all the artwork on the walls. What is this? Where's, what is this from? Look at me. I'm nosy moving stuff because I don't know where stuff comes from and what, I love this. This feels like a room that would have like bookshelves up to the ceiling, books to the ceiling, up to the ceiling, or those bookshelves that go over the, um, that surround the, the, uh, arcways, arcways, archways. Oh my gosh. I adore this living room. This is, I could live in this. I definitely live in this. This is beautiful. You guys, be sure to support um, people on the gallery, um, even people that aren't like necessarily popular, because you never know the jewels you can find um, on the art gallery. I've found some jewels just by looking through the gallery, not necessarily um, people that I follow or the popular builders you find some jewels and just be supportive of one another because it, it encourages people to continue to build and um you know get better and and just building in general because the creativity i am one that appreciates um the creative people you know i just appreciate people period but you know creativity because I am uh, a creative myself. I love to write. I'm not great at drawing, but I do love to draw. Um, I love music, um, poems, things like that. So I appreciate when people create with their minds and their hands. Um, it's just a special kind of person that does that and just support one another. Uh, and okay, I'm off my soapbox right now. Anyways, this bedroom, guys. I love this bed. This color, the colors in here, so bright. This is, this is honestly, this is what I picture when I think of a Spanish home, the inside, because mine was stark white, but I picture bright colors and, you know, nothing really matches. Um, kind of like the, what it, there's Fiesta wear. If you guys have ever seen Fiesta wear, I don't even know if it's a thing now, but it's pretty expensive, the real good stuff. And the plates don't necessarily match. They have all these different colors. Um, they have like blues and, and orange and reds. Um, if go to a Mexican restaurant, 
that kind of gives you an idea of fiesta wear well that is fiesta wear um they probably don't call it that but you know um so the bedroom and the bathroom i love the double sink this is a bathroom for a couple we got the shower and a bathtub and i love it you go out into there's my sim standing there looking crazy <laughs> going out into i know this is not private because i mean somebody could probably look right into your bathroom and see all your business but i mean it's still cool i mean you can close it up there's a curtain right here so you can close it up it's realistic i love it all right so through the wall onto the deck area nice little seating so cozy all right so where are we going next oh yeah okay so this is another creative sim um they've got their desk area here and what we have an easel so this is a, a family that loves color loves to paint um obviously they like the outdoors oh another seating area. look 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 at me look at me okay uh yeah so i was talking about the uh, the sim family obviously liking uh loving art loving color um so i would assume their teenager would be the same um or whoever stays in this bedroom could be a roommate or what have you um, and they have this little alcove here great touch great great touch oh the paintings right here yeah this is definitely an artsy family i can appreciate that most definitely did i even look at the other bathroom was this a bathroom or what was this okay so oh this is a bathroom here i see okay so if we out the coven oh so you walk okay yeah i i see what they're doing here unlock it i like it very cool all right so next house and i'm gonna stop it here and yeah i'll be right back okay this build is by joy and roses and i just want to say i really um the, the one thing that pulled me in about this build was what joy and roses did with the columns here in the front the glass with the i don't know what is oh it's part of okay it is the window that is uh, unique um i've never seen that done and i absolutely love this idea i will be um stealing borrowing this <laughs> this idea uh for one of my own builds this is really cool um it gives us this home kind of a modern look but still paying homage to the um traditional uh adobe stucco spanish style mission style home i said all those in one sentence to describe this house or any um style but i'm really excited about this house because just looking from the outside in she's got uh, i think she we don't know um we'll say we'll keep saying joy and roses because i don't know if joy and roses is a male or female but they've got um some really cool features here so let's look at this back this is a party this is a yard like straight up this looks like this this sim has a lot of family get-togethers has a lot of parties i love this i love the lighting around the bar um i like the seating area here there's some more seating area there's just all kinds of places to sit there's a little pool here it's just perfect this is a family home that loves to entertain um it is really really cool i love the dark um stucco paint used here uh i've never really been a fan of that color 
but it works so well with the the brown um the dark brown deep dark brown wood accent this looks really really good um so i'm excited about getting in this build so let's just take a look on the side here um some more little details with the uh, seating with the um the umbrella and then with plants and things like that then more seating this alco alcove this is really cool this is cool so like if you want to eat outside but you know like a private more private you know like a family time i don't know this it i like it i like it a lot um all right so we're gonna head in just look at that that is so neat so we're gonna head in um okay so they actually changed the floor plan quite a bit and we're able to fit way more in this house than i did so let me turn the grid off because y'all know i don't like the grid all right so we walk in because okay we're upstairs that we weren't walking in upstairs we are walking in downstairs all right so we've got the entrance and right in off right off the the front entrance we have we can go upstairs or we can go to the left we're gonna go to the left and hit up the living space uh very cozy and you know what i'll be honest i have been in homes like this um and they are definitely more they're cozy and so you do find furniture being I'll just say the, the homes that I've been in growing up, they're definitely more, um, they're not cramped. They're, huh, I can't really find the words, but they're more cozy. Um, things are, furniture's massive, but it doesn't feel like they don't belong. Um, you go in and it's like you sit down and everybody's together um because you're not you don't have a chair all the way across the room because these rooms are much smaller but um they're supposed to be so um this actually feels very authentic um okay so we're gonna push through let's see i'm assuming this is a bathroom i assumed correctly so this is a two-piece bathroom like a half bath maybe half bath though no this is like a full bath we got a shower and the bathtub and the sink here very nice okay so we're gonna go in through here through this door and this must be the door to the outside right yeah so that's towards the outside this goes into the kitchen cute kitchen and if it's an older home it would have a smaller kitchen I feel like Roses um, was going with a, a jo Joy and Roses was going with, did I say it? it was a Joy and Roses? Roses was going with an older home. Uh, granted, yeah, with the older home, the red tile in here, beautiful. I love the theme because it's all red with the browns. It's not too much. It's just enough. And then we work to the seating, dining area. A smaller dining room but again it feels like more authentic I have no idea what I'm talking about but I don't know it just does it feels more authentic I love this and then we've got an office here kind of a modern office it looks like the this person probably did some uh, remodeling and um, you know for their little office space oh this is cool idea for a little desk here in the corner really like this really do all right so let's head upstairs got some artwork okay upstairs we go what are this is a what is this oh okay this is a the hallway really cool nice seating area okay I love what they did with this floor plan way more interesting the twists and the turns this house is way more interesting than my house ever was 
it just looks like it's one of those houses like I want to go and see what's next um, very very interesting eye-catching I love the, the children's bedroom um, this kid is obviously spoiled because they have a, an amazing view <laughs> all right so where do we go okay, all right so we went here what's here what is in here okay this is a bathroom right Yes, this is a bathroom. So this would probably be the main bathroom. Um, the kids will probably use this as a double sink um, and shower and tub. Again, these houses wouldn't more than likely wouldn't have huge bathrooms, and I like it. It feels way more realistic, and I've said that before, and I'll say it again. Um, this must be another bedroom. Yep like the use of the slats in the wall uh, I love the color in here um, beautiful beautiful view chest okay yeah I'm liking the feeling of this house really am really am okay so we have another bedroom got another bedroom across the hall wait is it yeah, here's another bedroom you fit a lot in, wait a minute let me look at this this is the same house like Joy and Roses didn't change anything on the outside of this house I mean like the the house looks pretty much the same as far as like the shape there are a few things that were added but so the fact that they took the same house and I mean there are three bedrooms in here is this a bedroom yeah yeah what did I do I did uh, and and yeah they completely turned this house around and they added an upstairs okay this is really cool this is a nice touch like this is supposed to be like an attic very cool attic like storage room you know that's where people um where equipment workout equipment goes to die in the attic very very nice touch i really like this and i don't think i checked out this bedroom the red room <laughs> the red wedding really like this I love red. Red is such a rich color, like purple. It's like royalty. Very cool. Love the bedrooms. Love the entire layout of this house. Your decoration choices. I think we, I think we got the entire house. Yep. Really cool touches. Oh, we didn't see this. This little alcove here. This little foyer. No, we did. We went through here. Yeah, we did. Okay. All right, I like it. I really do, really, really do. Okay, and on to the next house. Okay, and we're back. I took a quick break, had to have lunch. Um, Cause I was starting to get hungry, nauseous actually. Um, I'm seeing a running theme with you guys, with uh, the roofs, the, the, the covered um, bar areas, I guess, I probably should have added that I didn't really think about that and I really like um, the idea of a covered bar or eating area that's outside because you know you can still enjoy being outside and still be protected from the elements so I love that idea okay so this build is by blush nugget um, and I did miscalculate I think I have <clears throat> after blush nugget I think I have w one other person that's on the gallery and then I'll slide in the pictures from I think her name is Emmy uh, Emma Veen or something like that but we will see when I grab her pictures okay so this is by again blush nugget I, I love the <clears throat> To me, this looks like an old church. I love the idea of you guys putting um, the accents on the top that kind of look like it was a bell tower or this was an old mission 
style church. I love that. Um, it gives this these builds way more personality than I initially had. But um, so we're gonna go ahead and instead of going outside, we're going to start from the inside. And once again, we're gonna take that ugly grid off. And oh, oh my goodness. What? Wait a minute. You guys, look at this fireplace. Oh my gosh, I have never seen a fireplace feature like this in game or out of the game. The, the picture, are these pictures or tiles? These are pictures. Oh my gosh, who, who is this by? Don't tell me. These are, this is by Blush Nugget. Blush Nugget. What? Ma'am, I say ma'am because I saw blush nugget. What? I'm sorry, I'm in awe. Like this is amazing. I'm still, I'm, I'm borrowing this. <laughs> First of all, your artwork. I just want to take a gander. I'm gonna have to uh, download some of your artwork. These are amazing. Um, I've seen someone else do something similar. Um, I can't remember who this person was, but they have like, they took artwork and made it look like tiles. And I love this idea. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, you guys are, okay. This is gorgeous too. I mean, is this your thing? Do you post these? I'm asking you like, you can answer me, but alive, uh, but do you make these? Because I follow I follow a lot of people on the gallery, but I especially follow people that do the artwork in game and post it because like I said, I like little nuances like that in my, my builds that don't include CC. Don't get me wrong. I love CC, but the artwork and stuff like that, I am a sucker for, oh my goodness. This looks so cool. This is like an indoor, like hydro plant, um, like herbs and stuff. Oh my goodness. I like it. What? What is this? Yeah. I'm speechless. I just, I, I'm so glad I did this. I, I am. It took me a while to film this, but I am so glad. I did this just looking at the amount of creativity and the thoughtfulness that all of you guys have put in your builds like I am amazed at the people in this community this is why I love the Sims community the gaming community um, <clears throat> you guys are so creative this looks amazing <laughs> This, I am stunned. Love how you brought the same element out in the from the outside to here, like the continue, um, to continue the the, um. Oh gosh, I I lost my train of thought just that fast. How is this? What is this? Is this a like? Oh. That is cool. Oh, man, this is freaking amazing. I'm stunned. I am stunned. I I love this. I just love y'all's builds. The the <laughs> I'm really stunned. Okay. So let's go inside. Wait a minute. More artwork. Okay, first of all, she put the tile here. Let's just go back and appreciate that um, she continues to put the tile here, which amazing. And then upstairs we have more pieces of artwork. If I could just get this to cooperate. Okay, this is the laundry room. I love this laundry area. I'm just gonna say that right now. 
Love it. And then, oh, this is the bedroom. Oh, it looks like they've already, I like that. It looks lived in already. And, oh, so pretty. Oh, so they have like a, the bedroom with the, they're looking off into the balcony. That is a great idea, actually. That is really a great idea. Okay, so we're gonna go into what I think to be the main bedroom. Okay. Very, very cute. Very pretty. Very, it's simple, but still kind of, it's classy at the same time. Oh, I see the juices and the berries. <laughs> um, I love this. The bathroom, this urn here. Kind of a modern look in the bathroom. Like they almost redid it. I'm, I'm loving y'all's creativity. All right, so, okay. So let's take a gander at her artwork. I am stunned. Absolutely stunned. I think, and I saw some more somewhere. Um, where, oh, there it is. These are really cute. I wish I knew what how you guys did this. I really do. Somebody's gotta tell me, how are y'all doing this? How? Okay, so this is a little hallway. <clears throat> the office seating area or like a study area which I like I this desk how you did this here with the desk I think that's so cool I uh, you guys are using um, have good use for the little the new items that they have um, with the free update that happened a couple weeks ago Ooh, more beautiful painting wait a minute okay we saw that no we didn't see this one we missed that and then this one oh my gosh the blues, the golds, the browns. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. I'm really in love with that fireplace. I really am. I just, I want to end it off right here. Just, you have to see the whole thing. That is so cool. I hate that the columns disappear. That is so cool. That is so cool. All right, so the next build Okay, this build was by Princess Ha, and right away, um, I see um, something that I really like was how Princess Ha used um, shrubbery or foliage to put on the side of the house. It gives, um, you know, a very natural look, and I really like that. Um, I love how they use the awning here in the front, the awning. It looks really good. Um, it did give this more character in the front because that was, I think, one of my problems with my original build was that it felt a little flat in the front, even though um, it had these balconies that protruded out, it still felt flat. Um, and I love that y'all were able to fix the problem with the roofing, um, something as probably simple to other people is very difficult for me. I am not great at roofing, but anyway, so far I really like this build. I love the brick choice. Um, yeah, I really do. And the color is fantastic actually. Um, all right, so we're going to head on in, uh, just a quick gander on the front here with the, the seating areas the, the balcony you kind of see the bathroom from the inside actually let's just go let's go through the bathroom uh, maybe not maybe the game is telling us we're not going to do that all right so um we have the first bathroom which i guess is yeah ensuite bathroom um i like the actual choice of shower with the tile really pretty so i'm assuming there's going to be some turquoise and browns or i could be wrong there's some pinks in here too um really really pretty um, I do love the doors. I don't remember if those were the same doors or not. I honestly do not remember. I probably should have taken a look at the original build first, but anyways. Um, so this is the main, um, the main bathroom, or main bathroom, main bedroom. 
Um, not a whole lot changed, but I do like um, your walling, their wallpaper choices, and um, a little dressing area with this mirror. It's one of my favorite mirrors in the game. I love the uh, full mirrors. Um, I like this bed too. I don't use this bed very often. Just because some of the swatches I don't really care for, but this swatch I can dig. I really like that. Um, again, I love the laptop, the Chroma. Reminds me of my own keyboard. Um, I've, well, I guess it doesn't matter what keyboard I use, but um, yeah, I really do like this bedroom. It's really nice. All right, so let's go through the door onto what's over here this is a little hallway okay so a little boxes over here in the corner and we're just gonna go through the wall to so the other bathroom oh, this is a little bit big oh okay this is the bathroom that comes up the balcony so they switch things around um, there's a tub and then the shower here um, and the sink I like it. It's simple, but it works. It really does. I like it. All right. So, let's see, there's the. Okay. So where are we going? Okay. So we're over here to the other bedroom. Oh, there's a door here. Wait. There's a door here. Okay. We'll save that. All right. So we have the other the bed, the same bed, but a different swatch. Which actually, I like that swatch too. I think, honestly, I think it was that first watch uh, that they have that kind of just keeps me from, I think, let me see, where's that? Where's the better? Yeah, it's this one here. I just didn't like, I didn't like it. But now that I look at it in game placed, I think I do like it. Mm -hmm. Just goes to show me, I don't know anything. Really like this bedroom. Very simple. I, I like how you kept it simple. Um, and again, the good use of curtains. I probably should have done that in my original build. Um, was used curtains. And I really like this flooring. I don't think I've ever used this flooring. And now that I look at it, the flooring looks very realistic. Hmm. Okay, so let's go check out this door. So it looks like there was a, a patio or a a balcony added. Did I? I don't know if the original bill had one here or not. See, that just goes to show you I don't remember. I do not. The background is very clean. And you know what? I will say this. Not for nothing, but some people just don't like a lot going on in their, in their backyard. They, you know, especially if they don't like to do yard work, um, you know, and things like that. They like to keep it very clean and you know this is probably one of those sims that does not like to do a lot of yarn work or deal with a lot of um, you know plants and things like that so they're going to keep their yard as minimal as possible and you know they'd rather focus on relaxing more which I have no problem with I really don't I like this build thank you really really nice all right so um, let me, I'm going to grab, um, well, I'm going to have to bring my Twitter, uh, Twitter feed over so we can, uh, look at the pictures from, um, I think her name is Emmy Venn. Oh gosh, I know I'm, I'm messing up her name, but I will be right back. And I'm back. I hope you guys, um, don't mind the clutter that is on my taskbar, but the this is actually my Twitter feed, as you can see, and this is probably the most ghetto way of doing this, but we're here. We're, we're, we're working this out. But this build is by, let me exit out, um, her name is Emmy Vine 2 Emmy E-M-Y-E-M-Y-V-N-E-2, and so, again, she had... She plays um, Sims on her PlayStation, and the galleries are not connected. Um, so she did the best she could and submitted her um, pictures on Twitter, which I told her, you know, I was going to make 
um, room for her to join because she built this, took the time to do it, and she took the time to contact me. And so, you know, I appreciate the hard work um, and the thoughtfulness. So um, let's just take a gander at all the pictures that she has. We don't get an actual, actual like, physical tour of it, but we definitely get to enjoy some of the pictures. Uh, these are one of the bathrooms, I assume, in her house. I'm not sure where this bathroom is, but um, yeah, I'm assuming this is might be a main bathroom. This might be, um, well, this might be a main bathroom or an ensuite bathroom, but I do like it a lot. Um, this would look. This looks like an adult bathroom. Well, I don't know with the CDs. Well, no. I, I, I won't, I was going to see with the CDs here, this might be a teen bathroom, but, um, I know me, I don't, um, I will bring my iPad or my phone in the bathroom while I'm taking a shower and I'll listen to music. So yeah, I'm an adult very much so. And so I can't say that this looks like a, a teen bathroom because of CDs, because I know I listen to music while I shower okay so here's some more um shots of another bathroom um i think this is a. Uh... Oh, okay this is a mirror on there i love this mirror um i wish we had more mirrors um with odd shapes and things like that but love this mirror all right so this is a bedroom okay so that first bathroom was correct this is i would say the master bedroom um and this was probably yeah and this was the the bathroom off the master bedroom um and i this might be a closet right over here okay and this is obviously the door to get into the bedroom very nice okay so it's another shot all right oh okay this is not for the eyes of a um young simmer so we're gonna move on <laughs> from the woohoo scene okay so this is a bathroom with some of the laundry day stuff used i i don't know i think i'm one of the people with the unpopular opinion about the laundry room stuff for the laundry day i really like the laundry day now i'm one of those people that voted for it Although I will say I wanted off the grid too. And I felt like the laundry day pack could have been combined with the off the grid pack because those two actually go very well together. When I think of off the grid, I think of rustic. Um, I think of solar panels and cabins and things like that. So a lot of the items from the laundry pack went really well with off the grid themes just saying um but yeah not to go on to a huge tangent but um i think this yeah obviously there's a toilet there so this is another bathroom okay so let's get out of here scroll down to the next um okay so right here right so this is a kid's okay so that other bathroom was next to the kids room is that harry potter no that's stuff um cute kids room i love the kids stuff it's so cute oh i love kids okay so this is the that other bathroom so we got another shot of the bathroom with uh, the cute mirror that i like and another shot of the kids room and this is another bathroom and these sims have toddlers and a a cat that is typical of a family you know um very lived in obviously this person has played with her house and i love that actually oh it's another bedroom oh cute oops i guess i can't can i not oh i looked at the wrong okay so we're gonna go back all right so this is a smaller bathroom and a, a baby's baby's room, kids' room, kids' room, probably kids' room, toddler room, kids' room. Very cute. Very cute. She did really good with the screenshots. Being that she, you know she's probably taking these 
from her phone, um, um, from her TV, well, from her phone of the TV, you know what? More power to her. Okay, and um, this is another bathroom. I think it, was it this, this might have been, let me back up. I keep, okay, so this is the, another kid's, oh, this person has three kids. Ooh, that's a busy house, let me tell you. I will say this, I only do well with three sims in my house max but when you start getting into realm of two adult sims or one adult sim and three kids that is really unnerving to me because there is so much going on with trying to keep up maintain kids and adults uh keeping their needs up i am like i i have to applaud the people that can manage that kind of household i literally literally just try to keep it to two adults and a kid um yeah that's as far as my attention speaking goes <laughs> anyway so um this is another bedroom i like the use of this table this is another swatch of that other table that i really liked uh, that i have not used and it looks like there's a gem off the side here so maybe this was the master bedroom i don't know Okay, so this must be, okay, well, this is a bathroom. I'm trying to think if this would be off of this other bedroom or not. Okay, so moving on to the next set of pictures. Okay, so this is, okay, here's a kid's room. This is a little um, alcove here with books. And okay, so this area is like for, um, crafting and things okay kind of suitable to have it right by the kids room because you know the kids can come out and you know um, paint and things like that so there's another shot of the one of the kids oh maybe this is another kids room I think it, I think it is okay is this like a hundred baby challenge she's doing because whoo I think I counted like three kids rooms you are busy you are busy. I commend you, like I said, because I couldn't do it. I cannot do. I <laughs> cannot. Okay, so this is, um, the, okay. Now, this is very realistic, too. Most of us do not have a separate workout area. Most of us will stick workout equipment wherever it can go. Um, living room, bedroom, basement, wherever. So I, I like the realism here. Really do. Okay. Oh, that is the office area too. A little office area. I like the use of the books here. Um, and some more workout equipment. Again, you put workout equipment wherever you can fit it. Okay, I see how this is the flow of the house now. So the kids room, here's a kids room. And then there's a, um, the painting area. Oh, okay. I was like, where are the newspapers from? That's actually a, a a good idea. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Putting newspaper under the easel. Yeah. That's a good idea. Because I use easels in my house quite a bit. And I'm thinking like if people were really painting in a house like this. There would be paint all over the carpet or this good hardwood floor. Um, yeah. And people, uh, hardwood floor is expensive. But the newspaper. That's probably what, no actually that's, isn't that the pet? That's the pet newspaper, isn't it? I would still use it for it um, to put underneath the, the easel. That was a tangent. Um, okay, so this is the dining area. This is actually for a large family here. This is a, well, obviously we have three kids so far and two adults. This is a large family. These people probably entertain quite a bit. Uh, oh, okay, so she has two, two kids, a teenager, a toddler, and a kitty cat. Okay. Kitchen. Very cute. I like it. Lots of, um, <laughs> lots of storage space. Wow, use your vowels. Okay. Lots of storage space. I like this. This is cute. Um, kind of has a, a, um, 
my coffee bar look i have a little coffee bar in my kitchen um that does that sounded really bougie but it's really not that like it's really not um it's not but um i do have a coffee bar kind of have to because when you have two coffee makers because we drink coffee like that and it's ridiculous okay so um okay so this is another bathroom this is a shot of her downstairs with the entrance or this must be like a mudroom maybe it looks like this might be a mudroom and we got a bathroom shot and um the little cute toddler what's his name he's so cute um i bet you he gets into everything <laughs> this is a shot of the living room i really like this living room very nice living room is obviously where the, they spend a lot of time um the microphone is over here they probably have karaoke nights which i would love to have really would this is cute and this is she actually took this and made it into more of a suburban look which i like i i'm fine with that because the you know the um Spanish theme isn't for everybody. Some people would rather live in a more suburban looking home, which I have nothing against. You know, if you wanted to use a different paint swatch for the outside and make, you know, have siding instead of stucco, that was certainly up to you. Um, okay, so this is her dining area, which goes in the kitchen. This must be the entrance to where um, there was the mud room and, and, the, and the other bathroom trying to see how you know trying to get the flow and then okay so now we have uh let's see this is uh this must be either a playroom it's probably a playroom okay Try, okay so this I'm trying to think how this was going okay so, but this is a um hallway and that looks like that might be an office there in the corner and um, there's the other bathroom. Um, okay. So that's the bathroom. No, that's enough. No, no, that, that must be the bathroom that we were seeing from the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. So I think we have a couple more pictures. Yeah. So where are we at? We're here. So there's the couch. This is, looks like a storage room, like a basement, like a basement area, laundry room. Yeah, this is like there, this was the laundry room and a playroom. So I was right, that was a playroom. Okay, and then this is the last pictures. No, we got one more set of pictures. Okay, so this is the this is the backyard. So she took the pool out completely. No, there's right here. Okay, so she didn't take the pool out, but she did uh, move the pool over. Um, looks like she extended the outside here. Um, kept you know kept a bar outside with the spa and stuff like that. Okay, um, we have a back porch. All right. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Um, okay. So is this the, this is, wait, was this the back? No, this was the back. This was the front. This is the front. Okay. So this is the front entrance. This is the foyer, the foyer. <laughs> and last but not least, this is the front of the house. Get a good gander. Get a good gander. Some more shots of the back and the front. This is the back. Here's the pool. Now, I will say this. The reason why her house looks different is because she wasn't able to download the house that I originally built because, well, they don't have access to the same gallery that we do. So she took the time to build her own house, which I commend her for completely i really do so i do thank you guys for submitting your builds um i'm sorry for the lengthy uh, time that has taken to get this video out as well as the lengthy video um 
I am going to put these houses out for voting. Um, I will make sure to post your name by the right name by the bill as they're being introduced. And I will open this up for voting. How I'm going to do that is, um, I think what I will do, I, I don't know if I'm going to do a poll or if I'm going to go by the number of comments. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. There's, I can, I'll actually talk this over with a couple of my other similar friends and see if they can give me any feedback how to do this. But again, I really enjoy touring you guys' builds. They're, they were amazing. You guys have some great ideas that honestly I will um, use in my own builds because uh, that's how we uh, learn is by looking at other people's builds and saying, you know what, I'm gonna try that. Um, no one is, you know, there's always the original, but then there's obviously people who take that original thought and go with it. So I definitely will be um, incorporating some of your ideas in my future builds. You guys are very, very talented. And I just really do thank you for taking the time out and um, doing this contest. We will have other challenges in the future, probably not so um, inundated. I or, or Do I wanna use that word? No, that is not the right word. Probably not so time consuming. Um, maybe something as simple as a cast challenge or um, something like that. But I certainly want to do giveaways in the future. Um, I am about to reach 100 subscribers. So we may do something then, I don't know. Um, we'll see how um, that goes, but maybe I'll just wait until another benchmark, but I definitely just, again, thank you guys for participating and I will um, keep you posted on how we're gonna open up the voting for these houses. And I just say um, thank you again and I love you and I will see you later.